Hello girls, how are you? Thank you for clicking on the video. Go ahead and please comment down below. Let me know what y'all been doing. Let me know a prayer request, request that you might have. And I'm really interested. So make sure you comment, okay? I'm really interested to see what you're doing. We've been spending a lot of time at the water park because we got some season passes. We've been having some fun. So today's lesson is going to be in Habakkuk. Now let's say our books of the Bible to Habakkuk. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, 1st and 2nd Samuel, 1st and 2nd Kings, 1st and 2nd Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Job, Psalm, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk. Woo, that took a while, huh? That was almost all the Old Testament. So if you will flip in your Bibles, you turn to Matthew in the New Testament and then work your way backwards a little bit, you might be able to find it because it's not too many pages backwards from Matthew. So today we are going to learn about the prophet to Judah named Habakkuk. Now, if you know something about Habakkuk before this lesson, you're doing way good because that's not someone we really know a lot about. We know about Daniel and the lion's den. We know about Noah and the ark. We know about Moses and King David, but we don't really know much about Habakkuk. So he was a prophet to Judah. The prophet Habakkuk understood that God's people had sinned and that God would allow their enemy to conquer them as a consequence of their sin. So God's people would continually turn their back on him and there is always going to be a punishment for sin. God loves us and he wants us to do right, but he will punish us when we don't do right, sort of like our parents. If we don't do right, there's got to be a punishment so that we can learn to do better. This was confusing for Habakkuk, the fact that God would punish his people. And Habakkuk prayed, Lord, how long do I need to call for help? He was asking God, why are you not hearing me? Why are you allowing these things to happen? And it is okay to ask God these questions. A lot of people say, you should never question God. And it's true that we shouldn't think, well, God shouldn't have let that happen. He's God and he knows better. But it's okay as humans to ask God, why has this happened? Why, why am I going through this? Why is this person doing this to me? It's okay to ask God that. And Habakkuk did. Habakkuk understood that God is holy. But Habakkuk didn't understand why God would allow an evil, sinful nation to conquer his own people. God's people were sinful but they weren't as evil as the Babylonians. So he thought, I mean, they're bad, but they're not as bad as these other folks and they're about to conquer us. Why are you letting this happen? God's always got a plan. He is sovereign. That's a word you'll learn more about as you get older and you'll hear pastors preach it, that God is sovereign. He knows what's gonna happen. He is holy and he knows best kind of the best way I can put it. He knows best. He has full control and he will never, ever do anything to harm us. It's always for our good. Even when we're being punished, it's always for our good. Habakkuk just didn't understand this. So he decided to wait for God to answer his prayer. God gave Habakkuk a vision and told him to write it down. God reminded Habakkuk, the righteous live by faith. Yes, the people of Babylon were evil and sinful, but God's people should trust God. God is always good, even when we don't understand what's happening. God explained to Habakkuk that while Babylon would conquer Judah, one day they too would be judged for their sin. So you might be thinking, all these bad things are happening, because there's a lot of bad happening in our world right now. A lot of anger and a lot of hate. But as people attack us as Christians, we can rest assured that they will be punished. 
and it might seem like they're winning, but they are not. They are not conquerors. We are conquerors because we're on the side with God. So I want you to go forth this week and not be afraid to ask God why things are happening and to make sure you read your Bibles and pray and God will give you peace about things that are happening in your life. I want to read one verse. It's Habakkuk 3.18. It's a very small book. Don't miss it in your Bible. It says, Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. So no matter if things are really bad with the coronavirus and riots and people doing evil, awful things and some governments doing some evil things and making some terrible bad decisions, we can rejoice in the Lord. Just like Habakkuk said here, and we can have joy in the God of our salvation. I love you girls. I'll see you next week.